Welcome, and this is Mark Strat, Team T, Tenio Firm Final Executive Presentation for Marketing Management, Spring 2015. This is truly a team-based executive PowerPoint presentation in which we're going to talk about our Mark Strat simulation overall performance and experience. We're also going to touch on the totality of our Tenio Firm's product portfolio our overall performance, which we chunk into three slides, periods one through three, periods four through six, and the last two periods, seven and eight. We're gonna end it with successes and lessons learned. And then our final slide is what we call tying it all together with the importance of marketing strategy in the four Ps. Thank you, and next slide. Team T, Tineo's Product Portfolio Overview. Over the Mark Strat 8 period simulation game, Welcome, and this is Mark Strat Team T, Tineo Firm Final Executive Presentation for Marketing Management, Spring 2015. This is truly a team-based executive PowerPoint presentation in which we're going to talk about our Mark Strat simulation overall performance and experience. We're also going to touch on the totality of our Tenio firm's product portfolio, our overall performance, which we chunk into three slides, periods one through three, periods four through six, and the last two periods, seven and eight. We're going to end it with successes and lessons learned, and then our final slide is what we call tying it all together with the importance of marketing strategy in the four P's. Thank you, and next slide. Team T, Tenio's Product Portfolio Overview. Over the Mark Strat eight period simulation game, Welcome, and this is Mark Strat Team T, Tenio Firm Final Executive Presentation for Marketing Management, Spring 2015. This is truly a team-based executive PowerPoint presentation in which we're going to talk about our Mark Strat simulation overall performance and experience. We're also going to touch on the totality of our Tenio Firm's product portfolio our overall performance, which we chunk into three slides, periods one through three, periods four through six, and the last two periods, seven and eight. We're going to end it with successes and lessons learned. And then our final slide is what we call tying it all together with the importance of marketing strategy in the four Ps. Thank you, and next slide. Team T, Tenio's Product Portfolio Overview. Over the Mark Strat 8 period simulation game, we ended up with five products. Let's start with our two core products, which are representative on the left side of the grid, Tone and Tops. These were the two products that really we were given to launch the beginning of the Mark Strat simulation game. Tone, very quickly, was a higher-end product meant for professionals, higher price specialty store. Tops, more of our higher-end innovative product aimed at Explorer's higher price point specialty store. Period three, we ended up launching Toad. This was meant to attack the shopper's market. This is an area that our competitive market intelligence was telling us we should, we should gain a strong entry point and foothold into. It was a medium product, medium price point, aimed at mass merchants and specialty stores. In period five, we launched Toga, aimed at savers. This was a, a market segment that we had not attacked before. A lower end product, lower price point. And then, period seven, we actually launched Toll. This is a course correcting strategy, which we'll talk about in our team's overall performance. And it ended up doing very well for us, 
but it was kind of late in the game. But we do feel that toll would give us a course correction momentum to gain back some overall company performance. Next slide, please. Overall performance for periods one through three. As you can see from the grid, we made a decision to illustrate our overall company's performance based on SPI. So I want to note periods one through three for firm Tineo represents the products tone, tops, and toad. The overall company's financial performance we would rate as high. As you can see from the bar chart for the first three periods, we got off to a really great start. Period one, we had a great understanding of our products and our current market position. Period two, we were able to increase our production units of both tone and tops based on the competitive market dynamics and the growth predictions. And we decided to launch a new product, Toad, aimed at shoppers and reduce the price of tone. Now, these were key to strategic decisions that at the time we thought would help the company in the long term. But in the next slide, we'll talk about periods four, five, and six on how some of these decisions may have uh, definitely affected our, our revenue in the long term. Next slide, please. Team T's overall performance for periods four through six. And I want to draw your attention to the products that represent this period four, five, and six, which are tone, tops, and toga. So periods four through six, as you can see from the SPI bar chart, honestly the company started to take a dramatic downturn. Let's start with period four. We noticed some very severe competitive market dynamics which we did not anticipate. The competition began lowering their prices pretty dramatically. And as a result, we were left with extremely high inventory for all of our products. Period five, we decided to launch a new product, Toga. And this was aimed at the shopper's market, a market that we had not attacked in the past. And we noticed from the Markstrat reports that this might be a growing market segment that we needed, we needed to target. Unfortunately, we, we only sold 8,000 units of Toga, and we set the production level at 120,000. So we were left with a lot of inventory, and we decided to dramatically lower the price of our core brands, at this point, tone and tops. And that actually ended up hurting the perception, and we believe not selling as many units for both of those products. In period six, we decided to get a little bit more dramatic, and we discontinued Tops and Toga altogether due to the dwindling Explorer market segment. And we weren't just selling that many units in those segment markets as we expected. We decided to exercise our full loan option and really beef up our advertising levels with our competitors. We noticed that this was a key strategic move that we wish we would have noticed early on, earlier on in some of the periods, particularly period three and four. It's critical to keep up with the competitive advertising levels in order to ensure your, your, your marketing and branding stays relevant. Next slide, please. We're going to finish up Team T's overall firm performance with periods seven and eight. I just want to note the products that represent periods seven and eight are tone tops and a new product that we launched, Toll. As you can see from the bar chart, period seven was truly our company's low point in terms of performance. But as you can see in period eight, we had a, a slight rebound 
in a gain in momentum and we think that's due to our new product launch and our overall strategy. This would rate the overall company performance as low based on the SPI overall financial performance. Period 7 we noticed a large drop in performance across all of our brands due to a multitude of different factors. We were left with very high inventory. We think uh, our brand and pricing got diluted for both tone and tops due to the dramatic price, dropping str price drop strategy that we did in previous periods. So our two core products that we were left with, tone and tops, really lost a lot of momentum. So we decided to launch a new product, Toll, that was aimed strictly at the savers market. And that was really due to not only the competition, but the competitive market analysis that we were getting from the reports. We're glad to report that we sold out of our 192,000 units that we launched for Toll. And we really increased advertising and the commercial team allocation spend, and it started to pay off. In period A, we started to regain that lost momentum, I think, again, mainly based on the new product launch of Toll. But we also got hit with having to pay back the loan that we took out from pre previous periods. So we think if the game would have continued, our new product strategy our increased advertising spend, targeting at savers, and reinvigorating both tone and tops as core brands, uh, we would of course corrected the overall performance of the company. Next slide, please. Successes and lessons learned. Let's start with successes. We all agreed a great start in Markstrat is the key to success. Keeping a steady state, capturing large market shares, and high revenues we feel is critical and we achieved that in the first three periods. We also realized advertising is key. We were able to, to maintain a high advertising spend and keep, uh, and keep par with other competitors early on in the game. We were able to course correct but yet stay focused on our core brand and market segments kind of the theory of one product, one market segment. We had very accurate calculations of the production units, but ultimately our greatest lessons weren't from our successes. We feel as a team we learned more from the challenges as the periods went on and the Mark Strat simulation game became more competitive. So let's jump to the lessons learned. We know R&D is critical, but we may have started it a little too early, which took away from some of our dollar and allocation spending toward advertising and commercial teams. We also learned very quick in periods four through six that a dramatic lowering of pricing can actually hurt your brand perception and thus overall sales. We also realized throughout the course of the game, it's critical to stay consistent and at least at par level on your, on your competitive spend for both advertising and commercial teams. We think we also may have made the mistake of launching too many products. This really took away from our budget allocations for our core products that were doing better early on and also caused us to get into a loan situation which may have hurt our overall revenues toward the end. The other thing is Focus on tangible trends. Focus on the things that the Markstrat simulation games give you and that's real, as opposed to guessing around future market dynamics. I think that caused us um, some real dramatic revenue hits. And I think in the end, risks are acceptable, but try to stay steady and focused on your core brands, your products, and your overall marketing strategy. Next slide, please. We wanted to close the presentation with what we call tying it all together. And so when we think of marketing strategy, we can't help but think of the four P's, product, price, placement, promotion. And we wanted to really wrap it up with how do we tie all of these core concepts back to the Markstrat simulation game and the real world? 
So let's start with products. One product per market segment. Not only is that a viable strategy when launching a new product in the real world, but that's something we really could have benefited from staying on point within the MarkStrat simulation game. And we did. We created new products as the simulation game went on, but we didn't necessarily focus on one product per market segment. Again, that would have been a strategy that really would have helped us gain momentum and hopefully the second time around win the simulation game. Price. Price is critical. Accurate pricing targets we think are key. And, and that's the one concept that I think all customer segments can truly understand. The other thing that we learn is price and purchase intentions are not always in alignment. And so in the middle periods for us within the Markstrat simulation game, we began to l dramatically lower our prices. But what that did was it diluted our brand. And we think in turn it diluted the purchase intentions for our core audience that we had established early on. Placement. Availability of the product is key to the brand. So of understanding our distribution models based on the competitive reports and other reports within Markstrat. But it's key to make sure that your distribution and where the product is available, whether it be in specialty stores, mash merchants, or online, and staying in line and focus with where those distribution channels are going to be. The other thing we learned very quickly is inventory levels matter. That became, honestly, a very costly mistake for us as the Markstrat simulation game went on. Although we do think it was a confluence of other events, having high inventory can force you to make decisions that might not benefit the company's profit in the long run. Promotion. This is the key to growth. And we think early stage growth and product differentiation is key. Again, like we talked about in the lessons learned, we think ultimately the people who were able to gain a strong momentum at the beginning of the simulation game most likely ended up in a better position at the end. And again, well-positioned products with specific targets and segments, with specific customers in mind, we think is another element to, of, of the key to success. The other marketing strategy segments that we also wanted to touch on were segmentation and targeting. So we think it's key, target one product per market segment. Keeping up with competitive advertising and commercial team spend and alignment is also a strategy that companies can't afford to let go by the wayside. You have to match or outspend in both of these areas, specifically in advertising. And the ability to change price based on perception is also critical to understand. Just lowering your price doesn't necessarily equate to higher sales and revenues. And you've got to distribute based on the shopping habits of the target market. And so understanding March Strat's competitive intelligence reports and future trends and how shoppers are going to react is also critical. Research and development, this is key to understanding products even before they launch. This is something that we might not have taken full advantage of in the early stages of the simulation game. And early R&D is key, but don't overspend. Again, this goes back to the theory that getting out to a steady state and a good start and making good revenue and capturing a high market share is critical. But doing research and development in the background is still key, but just don't overspend. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you.